Yo, what is up boys, Vizilu here, and today I got a different type of video for you. I get an insanely large amount of people who ask me how I make my TikToks, so instead of explaining it to each and every one of them, I finally decided to just make a full video about it. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step on how I make my high quality TikTok videos. Just so you guys know, I do use Premiere Pro, so if you don't use Premiere Pro, this may not be helpful for you. Also, before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know if you want to support me, consider using code Vizilu in the item shop. But let's waste no more time and get right into the video. Alright boys, so of course you're going to start by clicking new project, and then for the name of it, what I'll do is I'll do TikTok, and then I'll put the date that's made on. So today is March 10th, so I'll do March 10th, and then enter. So then if I ever want to repost my TikTok, all I got to do is find the date it was made on my actual TikTok, and then scroll through because I save all my TikToks, and then I'll find it on my PC. And then I can easily repost it, re-record my audio over it, or anything. So uh, after you have your, your Premiere Pro opened, what you're going to want to do is go get all your clips that you need for your video and throw it in here. So I'll come back to you guys when that's all done. Okay, so I threw my clip in here and this is what the clip's going to be. I'll show you a little portion of it. Boom. Okay, so the idea for this TikTok is to uh, make sure you're using high walls. So notice how when I saw this guy in my box, I immediately high walled up to block him off. And then it, that allowed me to peace control him. So uh, that's going to be this TikTok. So then what I'll do is I'll chop this up how I want it. So it's going to start from about right here. I'll probably start it. And then you click I to start your TikTok. And then it's going to end about right here. Then I'll click O. And then I have this little portion here. So then uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to record my audio over this. So I'll get back to you guys when all my audio is recorded. You guys need to be using high walls. 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 Okay, also boys, I forgot to tell you this, but what I also like to do is completely mute my clip so there's no game audio. So what I'll do is I'll go to audio gain and then adjust gain, I'll just make that neg negative 100. So now there's no audio in my clip. All right, now I got my clip completely chopped up and I got all my audio in it. So this is what it looks like now. Okay, so what I like to do after this is adjust your audio. So right now it's super quiet and for it to be the perfect amount of audio, I like to go to normalize all peaks. Well, first I'll select all the audio then go to normalize all peaks and make this number negative five. What this does is this bar over here, watch this bar. See how it doesn't go above negative five anymore. Um, it's basically like a noise gate. So no matter what the, the maximum amount of volume that this clip can have is negative five. Okay, after this, what I'll do is I'll go into effects and then go to video transitions, click on dissolve, and I'll add film dissolve to the end of my video. And if I have different clips, what I'll add in between them is cross dissolve. But this whole video is just one clip, so I don't need that anywhere in here. Yo, what's up, boys? It's Vizlu from the future here. And I just noticed that I didn't really explain the cross dissolve thing too well. So I'm going to go ahead and explain this in a different video where there are multiple clips. So uh, as you can see in here, I do have cross dissolves in here. Cross dissolve here, cross dissolve here, 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 and then a film dissolve at the end. So you're going to want to put cross dissolve between two different clips. So as you can tell, this clip right here is different from the next clip that it goes into. You see how it fades into another clip, but you want to put film dissolve at the end of your video. So it like blacks out like that. So if you have a different, if you have two different clips right after each other, you're going to want to throw cross dissolve between them just for a more smooth transition between those two clips. So what I'll do after this is I'll select all my game clips, right click on them and click unlink. That way I can just easily select just my game clips and not get the audio. Well, actually, you guys can just delete that if you want, because like I said, I make my volume nothing anyways, so you can't even hear it. So what I'll do next is I'll select all my game clips, uh, click control C to copy them, and then go over here and click control V to paste them. Then what I'll do is I'll grab these game clips and put them right up on top of the ones on the bottom. Then what you do is you want to go to the ones on the bottom and select all of them. Then you come back over here, you go into video effects this time, go down to blur and grab Gaussian blur. Then you put this on all the bottom ones. Then you're gonna click the first clip, head over here, head up to the top and scroll over to effect controls. And you're gonna wanna change the scale to 180 and the blurriness to 25. 
then you go right here to Gaussian blur, left click it, and then right click it, and then you click copy. Then you're gonna copy this to all the other clips on the bottom, and you're gonna do the exact same thing for the motion. So copy, and then select all the bottom, all the other bottom clips on the on the bottom. You don't need the first one because we already did that one. And then you paste it on there. So now we got this here, but now to make it TikTok format, we're gonna head into sequence, sequence settings, and we're gonna change the frame size to 1080 by 1920 and then you click OK and then boom. Now let's watch this back one more time. You guys need to be using high walls. Notice how right when this guy ran past me, I immediately blocked him off and then looked up to grab the high wall. This allowed me to establish some easy piece control and get this kill. See how clean that looks, guys? That's a TikTok video right there. And then uh, that's basically all I do in Premiere or actually that is all I do in Premiere. So then what I'll do is I'll render my video sequence render into out. And then after this, what I'll do is I'll download it or I'll export it. So I'm going to go to file, export media. And then of course you have high or uh, maximum render quality and then export this. And then I'll show you what I do after I export it. Okay. So now that the video is exported, what I'll do is I'll go to Google Chrome and then I will go to my drive. And then in my drive, what I'll do is I'll add it in here so I can download it on my phone. So I'll go into my downloads and then this is the TikTok that I just recorded. And I'll throw it in here and then once it's in here I'll go on my phone and I'll download it and the reason I download it on my phone is because you have to post it through your phone and also what I do on my phone is I use this app called CapCut where I add captions to my TikTok it makes captions much easier so then the rest is history guys then you just do a little bit of editing on TikTok you throw your sound in whatever audio you want to use and then boom you post it uh, so yeah guys that is how I edit my TikToks and that's how I've always edited it and it's super easy for me so uh, let me know if this helped you out, and if you have any other questions, feel free to let me know in the comments.